Hi guys, Todd here. It's going to be a, a no, it's not going to be. Of course, stop saying that. This is going to be a quick review because you know they never are. Uh, are this is going to be a review for this. Uh, this was sent on to me by Nature Vape. Now, this is Nature Vape, um, who I've talked about a few times. Uh, they're the company that started selling uh, Kanger. Kanger coils heads and they were fitting their own coils and supplying cotton uh, with their own tanks and the vape off of them was outstanding um, well this is going to be their starter kits they're selling um, basically their short sweet version it's smock, uh, smoke or smock however you want to pronounce it, um, it the kit comes from them, uh, or that's where they buy it from, because, you know, all the boxes come with s smock, smock deck, or smock smock deck, uh, written on them, uh, in the kit, which I don't have an issue with. Um, uh, I'll, I'll take this lanyard off just now. Uh, we'll go in for close-ups, uh, but effectively it's 29.99. okay? You get a uh, a 650 milliamp battery. Uh, it's kind of like an, an EVOD type button affair going on. You get this uh, glass tank. It's a Pyrex tank on here. Uh, a fixed drip tip. And inside is a 1.4 ohm resistance coil with cotton inside it. You also get the lanyard. And they've got this funky... Uh, charging system going on with it as well which I'll show you in the close-ups but we'll have a quick vape first I'll tell you about that in a wee bit I think we'll just go in for some close-ups now this is the We'll start off with this. This is the, the battery, 650 mAh battery. Um, it comes in various colours that you'll see in the site, and it's your usual 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 click on, off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's our on. God, I feel like I'm at work now. Um, Ego threading on the outside, 510 threading on the inside. Another little tank here. Uh, this is a fixed drip tip. It is Pyrex glass. It's uh, not a polycarb or PMME or anything like that. And I'll just unscrew the bottom here. And you can see it got in there. The usual, fill down the side. And we've got one of these coils. Now, it it, it kind of looks like a Pro Tank 1 coil to me, but it does state that uh, Nature Vape's standard Pro coil will not fit in this, but uh, they will be coming out with replacement coils soon. Uh, the thing is, this is the same as all these other stuff, you know, it will come with a bag of cotton, and you just, once this cotton gets dirty, you can just change the cotton out yourself. So you actually get enough cotton with this to do you a long, long time. Uh, so you don't have to worry about buying replacement coils and such like. It, uh, I can't fault it. You know, it's, they are great. And the vape quality from this is amazing. For those of you that haven't seen uh, the review I did of the Nature Vape coils, uh, I'd recommend you go and watch it and then you would learn how to change the cotton out. But uh, hopefully I can get this off here there we go so we just pull the top off and you can see you've got your little micro coil in there so when the cotton gets dirty you just pull the cotton out one side and feed some more in and you're good to go but like I say if you watch my nature vape coil video you'll see exactly how to do it so let's say the battery is a standard 650 milliamp hour battery or so you would think we look at the base we've actually got two magnets going on here and this is our charging cable so USB one 
and you basically just that's it that's you now charging um, it, it's different I've not seen it before but it's oh, jings. Um, you know it works and it does the job fine um, I was worried at first I thought contacts here I could end up bridging them with a bit of wire and you know I would short something out but no nah, I've not had I can't get any readings from this at all when I touch it with probes eh, so you don't have to worry about that the only thing however is that this is a uh, you know you're not going to get other devices like this so uh, we'll come back to that in the summary but it does work and it works well and it'll only go in one way because of the magnets so there we go we also get a big chunky uh, lanyard which is quite good and I've been using it a lot uh, which is not like me at all I usually just screw this on and slide this lanyard rubber piece just over the top like that so it hangs like so um, and that is really it for the close-ups so right let's get back to the vape quality I should point out that the tank holds two milliliters of juice It's a great vape, it really is. Um, it's on par with these other, the Nature Vape coils. You know, it is at the end of the day, it's just your standard caught head uh, for this tank. And he's taken out the wicking material, popped in a little micro coil uh, with some cotton at 1.4 ohm resistance, and watch a treat. Um, I mean, 1.4 ohm must be right on the limit, if not for this battery, for a 650 mAh battery um, but whatever, it, it handles it and it vapes really really well it just, no bullshit, it vapes really well uh, I mean he sent me on some of his e-liquid, I think they're this is Envy, it's called, Amber Twist it's uh, 6535 not quite sure what to make of it, it's, it's not my type of e-liquid uh, but we all like different things uh, but it's perfectly vapable um, so I think he's going to be starting selling this soon uh. no, cannot fault the vape one bit right, let's get down to the nitty gritty um, Right, thirty pound or oh, twenty nine ninety nine. He does free delivery on orders over thirty pounds. I have to admit, and I will say this, um, as a starter kit, which this is, I would aim this at uh, for thirty pounds. And and I sell starter kits all day long at work. Um, I, I, you know, I know that I could get, say, a, a 650 twist and £10 on a ProTank Mini 3 for 30 quid. It would cost me another couple of quid for the lanyard, but, so it's kind of comparable and this isn't a twist. Um, so price-wise, it, it, it is, it's not extortionate, but it's not mega cheap either I find it hard to fault it though if if I was going to recommend to somebody that was starting out vaping and I wanted to just give them a quality bit of gear um, I would probably give them this before I gave them an Ego Twist and a Kanger Tank uh, a Pro Tank 3 Mini um, mainly because it's matching and that matters to newbies uh, you know that's you know it doesn't look so strange you know um, the vape quality is bang on it's just perfect uh, it's actually better than the standard ProTank 3 heads in my opinion 
it's got the lanyard, it's it, it's just it's pretty funky. Do you know, the, the best thing I can say about it is I would buy it for a starter kit for somebody. If I was going to recommend a little starter kit for somebody uh, then this I would probably, you know, say go get this. <laughs> the only thing that I've got a little criticism I've got against it is this, you know, it's got its own unique charging system. Um, and do you know what I haven't tried? Now, I don't know if it's meant to be used like this. But I'm actually charging it right now. And I can actually vape it at the same time. Now, it's not advertised anywhere as a pass-through. As in a USB pass-through as you can charge and vape at the same time. But... I am able to do it. I don't know whether I should be saying this or not. I don't know whether it's the kind of thing I should be saying to people. Uh, I would hate to think that I'm recommending that you vape with this and charge at the same time when it's not meant to be. But, but that's the only reason I can think of having this system in the bottom, is to allow you to charge and vape. Um, has to be. It has to be. Um, if it's how it's intended to be used, then it's a big thumbs up for this. For 30 quid you're getting a USB pass-through starter kit, which isn't bad. Best thing I could say about this is that I would sell this to somebody and I would have no qualms about it. Um, nah, I would. I, this is the kind of thing I would buy for my mum. If she was going to start vaping again, uh, I would buy her this because I think it's quite funky looking in all the different colours and it's just a great vape and once they learn how to you know, change that cotton out it, it just financially wise you know long term it makes a lot of sense as well I think it's a bit of a winner personally the draw draw is great on it the draw is really good it, it's not it's not like a C4 or anything like that it's not a really tight draw it's got quite an, an airy draw going on there That was a direct lung inhale. Um, not bad. It's a big thumbs up from me, in, in my opinion. Uh, that, that, that's a big thumbs up from me. Uh, and that's it. Thank you to Nature Vape, as always, for sending this on. Uh, one day you'll send me something and I will say that it's a pile of shite. Uh, but so far, you haven't sent me anything that is. Uh, I wish I had a changeable drip tip on it. There's something. But then in saying that, the drip tip that's on it's quite nice. Um, but that's it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching as always. And we shall catch up soon. Cheers now. Bye.